In this video, I want to show you how you can create articles or blog posts using ChatGPT that get ranked in Google and actually generate free traffic for you. Now, there's been a lot of fuss, obviously, about ChatGPT and how you can use it to create content and so on. But after a little bit of research, you know, I found out that apparently Google penalizes uh, content that's been generated by AI. And even if they don't, maybe it's something they'll do in the future. I'm sure they'd probably prefer human generated content. So uh, how can you get around that? How can you still make sure that you're going to benefit long term from the content that you create using ChatGPT? Well, I'll show you my process. So first of all, what you're looking at right here is an article I created using ChatGPT. You can see it's pretty long. Um, it's uh, it got you know bulleted out and really really nice H2 headings, H1 headings, all of that stuff that you you should do as good practice to help rank your content. And then I've got calls to action in there and also some internal links that I've put to help other pages rank. And this particular post here was created on the 22nd of the 12th, 2022, so only a couple of weeks ago. And already, you know, uh, looking at my traffic, I can see here, if I type in virtual summit guide in Google, I'm on page two at the moment. Um, and I'll probably be on page one in a little bit of time with a few more links and so on. I'm just there, like I'm literally, I don't know what would you would call that, 13th maybe. I don't know how many links there are on Google these days. It's gone a bit crazy. But um, it, I can get it on page one. I'm very sure of that. And it won't take too long. And there'll probably be longer t sort of search terms that I would be on page one for already. That's pretty quick, really. And I haven't really been that active on my blog for a long time. So, um, you know, chat GPT has been a godsend for me to be able to quickly create this kind of content and then uh, you know get more free traffic so I plan to do a lot more of it this year so here's what I do and I have done a ton of research on this a lot of experimenting and you know looking at how other people are doing it what's working what's not and trying it all out for myself so the first thing I'll do is obviously pick the right keyword to even try and rank for now I use uh, SEO Dity. Uh, I got a deal uh, off of AppSumo a little while ago because I found it um, really useful, tried it all out. It was, you know, every bit as good as some of the other major players, a bit like Hrefs, Ahrefs and so on. All those other, uh, those mainstream SEO tools. I found it really good to get keywords out of that I could use. Um, now, if you want a completely free version, there is uh, something here called uh, Pemivore that I also tried out. This was one of the top 10 um, search tools I found on Google, and it's really good for picking out keywords both from Google, YouTube, everywhere. And then it breaks them all down for you like this. You can see they've done a demonstration here with Hugo Boss, and then it gives you all of the keywords that contain Hugo Boss. And then just down the left, you can pluck out particular keywords like, you know, Hugo Boss Yellow and so on. So really good tool that is if you want one that's completely free. But this is the one that I, I use and I've chosen uh, that I want to pick the keyword lead generation for plumbers. I sell funnel templates so and I have one for plumbers. So this would be a great thing for me to rank for. I can come and Google, give them some great content on how they can generate leads and then also recommend that they buy my own template and then they can have their website up and running real quick to generate leads from. Now it says the keyword difficulty is in the green here, this little green circle. And the actual cost per click, click value of that keyword is very high, which indicates that it is the sort of uh, term that is valuable to companies. Um, to advertise for and then the search volume is not too bad either so that's my keyword now rather than making you watch the entire process of me creating the article step by step by step in chat GPT I've gone ahead and done all the work first and then I can talk you through the work that I've done so it's a lot faster so here we are in chat GPT again if you haven't heard of it which would be quite a miracle by this point you will be able to see a link underneath this video it's free for the moment it's in beta uh, sometimes it's a little bit sketchy on and off it works some days and then it's sort of you know you have to refresh the page and then it's okay again but it's not too bad it does the job and it's free so what more can you say so the first thing I'm going to do is to get it to write uh, five different sort of catchy blog post titles that would be good for this the keyword term lead generation for plumbers so that's what I've got it to do and then it came up with these 
but none of them actually said lead generation for plumbers in the keywords. They're all good. So then I had it rewrite it and then ask for it to put the actual keyword term in lead generation for plumbers. And you can see it did, did do a couple of those lead generation for plumbers, five proven strategies to attract more customers. And then there was this one here, uh, lead generation for plumbers again, convert more leads into customers with these tips. I like that. Um, but what I wanted to do is use this particular title, number four. So I asked it here, um, and I also, this is another good thing you can do with this, and I really uh, encourage you to do this part, is to tell it who you are targeting, because it will make the article a lot better if you tell it who it's writing it for. Um, so I have put all the things I'm going to ask you to write are in British English, because obviously I am uh, English, targeted at plumbers and can contain some humour. Uh, do you understand? And the reason I put humor in because I think it just makes the articles more natural and a little bit less meh, 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 you know, like a robot. Um, and it says, yes, I understand. I'm trained on a wide range of text and can generate content in British English. I'll do my best to incorporate some humor as well. Please let me know if there's anything else I should consider whilst writing. Don't you just love chat GPT? If all your employees were this wonderful, wouldn't it be great? Um, write me a blog post introduction for the title suggestion number four. And then here it goes. It's given me a great introduction. Now, what I'll do is copy that and then paste it over into a good old Google Doc. So there it is just at the top there. And then I'll go through the, the, the most important part, which is this, which is the uh, blog post outline. This is where you ask it to create a whole blog outline on that particular topic and it will do that here. And we're going to utilize each one of these major sections like create a professional website, use social media and so on to then generate each each section as you go. Because if you just said write me an article on lead generation for plumbers, it would do. And you can say I want it up to a thousand words and so on. But it would just be, you know, one big article and nowhere near as detailed and as long and as comprehensive as using this method. That's what I have found. In the beginning, I just did it like that. Lead generation for plumbers. No good. It, it, you know, it's not bad, but it's not brilliant. This is brilliant. And then so what we'll do is we'll start getting the blog sections written. And then I have put there, you know, write me a blog section for definition of lead generation. And then I'll take that, copy it into the uh, Google Doc. Then I've put write a blog section for overview of the strategies that will be covered in this post. You can see I'm just working my way through this. And you can do all three of them at once if you want to by just uh, just literally copying them. Write a blog section and then I've put four, the role of the website in lead generation, tips for uh, designing an effective website for plumbing business and examples of a successful plumbing business. All those three things that were in that one section. And then look at this, look at this great post here, you know, and then you can just copy it, paste it in and so on. So I kept doing all of that until I got to the end and then uh, we'll do a blog conclusion. That's what we tend to do at the end of a blog. There you go. Write the blog post conclusion and then recap of the lead generation strategies and so on. And there, there we are. That is now done for the article in terms of just writing it. However, there is a problem quite often with the content being recognized as AI content. So I'm going to put a link to this website underneath the video, but you can actually test your content for free at the moment to see whether or not it can be detected as AI content. So let's go up to the top here and I'm just going to pick this uh, particular section. Let me have a look here on websites. So if I take, uh, here we go, in this post we'll be covering several lead generation, blah, 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 that includes that. Let's move down. Here we go. Designing an effective website, the role of a website in lead generation. So I'm going to take this bit of content right here and I'm going to go to this website, which is called uh, writer.com and they've got an AI content detector. And I'm just going to paste in this content like this. You can't do a massive load at once. I forget the maximum number of characters or content, but you can do a reasonable chunk at a time. And if we click analyze the text, it'll just take a little look at that and then score it. And it's saying it's only 37% generated uh, by humans, this content. So that's really not great. And you should really try and up that. Now, if I take that same content and go to Quillbot, 
and then paste it into Quillbot. Again, I'll put a link under the video if you've not heard of Quillbot. I must admit I hadn't until recently. And then click Paraphrase. It will now go through and start switching up the text a little bit. Now you would need to ideally just skip through this. It depends what you're doing this for. If, you, if you're just trying to get ranked and just try and get free traffic, not really too bothered how people feel about it when they read the article, then you can just copy this straight away and then just paste it into your article. If you if you just wanna make sure it reads really nicely and everything is perfect, then uh, go ahead and just read through it. If you find anything a little bit weird, um, like over here, let's just look at this for an example. The orange text here says, use crisp pictures. The This text means that they have adjusted this. And then if you if you click on it like this, it will show you the other different suggestions that you could use if you wanted to, if you weren't that happy with that particular one. Like it says here, list your offerings and costs in detail. I don't particularly like that. I don't think that makes much sense. So I'm going to say services and then I'm going to say uh, price prices. There you go. List your services and prices uh, in detail. Other than that, I'm fairly happy with what it says. So I can now just copy this text and a, a point to note at the top here with the synonyms, you can see you can have fewer changes or lots of changes. I suggest making the bare minimum to the content that will allow it to pass the AI detection because that makes it just more readable. So now if I go over, I'm going to take that same content that I've just now played about with, uh, with Quillbot. I'm going to paste it in and now I'm going to analyze the text again. And now, as you can see, 100% human generated content as how it has been graded. So I'm now happy to use that on my website and I would literally just come over to here and then I would replace that particular section uh, on my document right here and then put it all into my blog, whichever blog system you use. Obviously, I'm using fastfunnels.com because that's my platform. And then I'm able to create a really good blog uh, with this, with calls to action in, just like on my site here, you know, with internal links in and so on to help my other pages get ranked as well. Another cool thing that you can do at the end of uh, having done that, you might want to promote your blog post as well. So we can use ChatGPT to go ahead and create you a nice Facebook post, for example. Now, what I do with my Facebook posts, I'll say literally write me a Facebook post that I can use to promote this blog post and use emojis. So you can see it's done a great job of uh, putting in like a, a little tap there, pouring into a, a into a cup. Attention all plumbers, are you looking to attract more customers and grow your business and so on. And then it says, click the link to read more and, str and start attracting more leads today. So a great intro really. Now it didn't put hashtags, maybe it's because I didn't ask it. You know, it's very much a question of what you put in, you will get out with this system. And so I said, can you add some hashtags to the Facebook post? please. And then uh, here you go. Look at all these hashtags, lead generation, plumber, business growth, website, social media, you know, great, great hashtags really um, for this particular Facebook post. And to save a little bit of time too, I've also asked it to write a meta description for the blog post. And then I can use that for SEO purposes as well. And then just to paste that into my meta description to help that particular blog post rank really well. And then I, I did even complain because one thing I did notice is that it didn't always do it in British English, having asked it to do that for all of the future text it would write. Uh, as you can see up here somewhere, I think it's a utilizing. There you go with a Z. Obviously in the UK, we don't do that. So I asked it and then it said, I apologize for not using British spelling in the previous meta description. Here's a revised version using British spelling. Once again, employee of the year, chat GPT. So really, really happy with this. Um, and as I say, you will be able to create content at scale. I will be outsourcing this entire process to my team who uh, will be you know, putting out blog posts like crazy. And then uh, uh, with all these long tail 
sort of keyword terms and gradually we'll start using stronger keyword terms that we want to try and rank for doing a lot of backlink building as well to my site to make these articles you know gain up the search rankings by giving the whole site more domain authority so there's a few different things that you can do but i think this is such a great way for anybody who's uh, looking to create content Maybe you, you want to create blog content for affiliate marketing or something like that, or just to build your own business up, whether that's a SaaS business, you're a coach, a consultant, whatever it is, this is just going to be an absolute uh, brilliant tool for you. So all of the links are underneath this video. If you found this useful, please do like uh, the video, it helps me get more people to view it. And then um, if you want to subscribe to my channel for more videos about uh, sales funnels, internet marketing tips, uh, artificial intelligence stuff, all of that, you're going to find it very, very useful, I hope. All right. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video real soon.